Today's video is focused on just chipmunks, and more specifically, an educational look at how to humanely deal with them when they become destructive. While many grocery store hunters choose poison and the undeniable out-of-sight suffering for them, my preference is quick and painless. My tool of choice for said activity is the semi-auto Egg Gun Leshy 2 air gun. But what caliber and ammo? Well, that's what we're going to explore together and find out which is best. A 25 cal Tannerite pellet that goes boom or a big old 9mm hollow point. You know, these air guns are not toys like we had as kids, so safety should always be top of mind. To the uneducated, baiting and making them disappear like that may seem cruel, but in fact, it's the exact opposite. These are already here in thousands. Peanuts are not making them reproduce. Uh, and in order to safely deliver painless dirt naps, I built this table for one here uh, with these large oak trees that act as a safe backstop. The peanuts just keep them busy enough for a few seconds so that I can make quick work then rinse and repeat. The 9mm is incredibly devastating. It can lead to quite the mess sometimes. But what's interesting though is that that mess doesn't actually act as a deterrent for others. They just keep coming and coming. It's the true definition of an absolute infestation. Oof, devastating. But to give you a better idea of what type of mess to expect, I placed a few GoPro cameras downrange, filming in real time to get a feel for the speed, and of course, slow-mo so we can really capture just how humane and effective this round can be. What's cool about the Leshy too, well, there's a lot of things cool about this gun, but not only can it erase little guys like this as you're seeing, but it also packs Plenty of knockdown power for larger critters, obviously in bigger calibers. Like this razor back here, taken by Colorado Air Gunner with his 762 Leshy 2. And speaking of which, it's been a minute since I've done a giveaway, guys, and I'm excited to launch this one. You could win your very own Egg Gun Leshy 2 on me, along with an epic day of hunting with Dylan over at the Air Gun Outfitter. Full details are at www.eggunleshy.com forward slash gaw, G-A-W, on how you could snag a Leshy 2 and a day sniping pigeons just like this. Thankfully, I don't have any Razorbacks in my backyard, but if I did, these chipmunks, well, they got me ready with a whole lot of aim small, miss small practice. Yikes. Yeah, I think that one's going to work. Although it was a tick low, these things just unzip when you hit them right there. And for science, one last little side angle. Oh, moly. Yeah, that is an effective round on a chipmunk. This one is a good educational example on the importance of a safe backstop. Watch the pass through on this one. Oof. You know, while safety needs are obvious with this caliber, the pass-throughs are actually worse as the caliber gets smaller and the speeds increase. They just zip right through them. That one was through the dome and looks like the upper poop shoe. Man. Yeah, confirmed. It's dead. I couldn't cash. I guess that she's my carter. Here's a good example of what I mean. This is a 25 cal pellet that goes boom. And watch as this thing just goes straight through. Obviously, the boom juice makes things, uh, well, it wreaks a little havoc on the outside, if you know what I mean. But the pass through is undeniable. And just in case you didn't catch that from those angles, there you go. I don't know what just happened. The camera kind of glitched. But let's check out a couple of different angles. And you see that pass through just ripped all the way through. Obviously, you can see the exit wound, but you can see it just bounced right off of that backstop. Again, guys, safety first. There's a lot of talk out there on the interwebs about the effectiveness of these EGW exploding pellets. But watch this shot. It's a little high. Yeah. But wait until I walk down to check this out. This thing got scalped 
100%. That would have been a wounded critter, which would have been a bummer to go to have to chase around and try to deal with. Uh, but because of that pellet going boom, this thing's dead as a doornail. Crazy. Seeing Colorado Air Gunner use that 762, it got me excited for the old dirty 30. So I thought I'd bring it back out using a polymag pellet here, which is essentially a giant hollow point. These pellets are just incredibly destructive. And let's watch what that same pellet that dropped that Razorback, let's see what it does on a little chipmunk. Yeah, I think we're going to call that one effective as well. These next few are a perfect example of how to mainly deal with destructive chipmunks. I'll give you a break from my chatter and let the uh, I'll let the shut up and shoot guys get a little win here as we check out an egg unleshy style music video. Compliments, Justin Johnson on the spy guitar. So what do you guys think? 9 mil or a 25 cal pellet that goes boom? In my humble opinion, when you got a multi-caliber gun like the Egg Gun Lashy 2, who cares? And just use both. We're going to wrap this video up with a couple little side angles here just to see what the 9 mil does and then one more with the pellets that go boom. If you got this far, thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate all the support. And don't forget to check out the giveaway, the link at the top of the description. And uh, if this wasn't enough pew pew for you in this video, check out this video next.